Hello everyone, praise the Lord, very good morning, very happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even in this morning as you meditate His word. Uh, surely God will speak to us as you meditate His word. Today's meditation is from the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 15. Consequently, just as one man trespass result, resulted in the condemnation for all people, so also one righteous act resulted in, just, resulted in justification and life for all people. That one man, Adam, through him, because of his sin and uh, condemnation came into the life of everybody. Because through him, the sin entered into the world. Through him, the condemnation entered into the world. And through his um, life, uh, that, is, that, that, that would make God to ang get angry with him, that disobeyed God's word, the sin entered into the world and now through one man's righteous life everybody have received righteous life why do we say through jesus we have the righteousness or we can receive righteousness jesus christ did not live a sinful life and die and say that i have died for the human beings i i have died for the man i have died for my the people in this world and no when one man lived a sinful life and sin entered into the world, this one man lived a holy life among the sinful people and he proved he is a holy man. He has lived a holy life and through his holy life, we receive holiness. So through that holiness, only everybody's sins are forgiven. If he has lived an unholy life, if he has lived a sinful life, like everybody, there are so many people who die who say that, oh, you can be saved through me, you can reach heaven through me, but they are living an unholy life. Through somebody's unholy life, nobody can be made holy. But Jesus lived a holy life and brought holiness, the righteousness into the world. Amen.